Welcome. Today we have a super interesting topic to discuss. How to enable organizations to unlock their sensitive data for purposes of secure collaboration. Hi, it's me, René Kolga, Product Manager on the Confidential Computing Team here at Google Cloud. Later on, we'll also have Brendan Taylor, CTO of Monetago, join us here as well. So what's our agenda? We'll start off with uh, the inter introduction of our confidential computing portfolio, then on to the main topic, launch of the confidential space that enables secure data sharing and collaboration. We'll have a quick demo, and then one of our great customers, Monetago, will share the use case for confidential space. But before I get started, let me ask you an unusual question. Would you be comfortable sharing your salary with your colleagues or classmates? Would you be comfortable putting your salary on a piece of paper right now and giving it to one of your colleagues and then asking her to do the same for you? Probably not, right? But today we'll show you how you as well as your organization be able to do it in a secure manner using the confidential space solution. So let's get started. What is confidential computing anyway? Well, it completes the end-to-end -end data protection story. Google always provided automatic encryption for data at rest. We also enable data in transit encryption capabilities. But what about data in use? Prior to confidential computing, there wasn't really a way to protect data and AI models while they're being used. So confidential computing strengthens the data protection story through hardware-powered encryption of memory. Confidential computing provides mitigations from hypervisor vulnerabilities, rogue admins, user space attacks, and various memory attacks. How does it work? If we look at the typical cloud compute setup, logical isolation is provided for VMs out of the box. With confidential computing, in addition to that logical isolation, we add strong cryptographic isolation and integrity capabilities, all provided by the CPU. Here you can see a secure processor that creates ephemeral keys for each VM. Those keys are rotated at every VM boot, and they are non-extractable from hardware. Even Google doesn't have access to those keys. It's also important to note three things about our implementation of confidential computing here at Google Cloud. First, it's ease of use. It literally takes a single button to enable confidential VMs. No need to rewrite code or recompile it. Anything that runs on a regular VM should run on a confidential VM. Next one is performance our customers typically see near zero performance impact when they enable confidential computing. Obviously, your mileage may vary as it highly depends on your workload. And last but not least, scalability. Today, we support instances for up to 224 vCPUs and almost a terabyte of memory, 896 gig to be precise. Our confidential computing portfolio today includes confidential VMs, confidential containers through our GKE offering, secure data processing through confidential data proc, and many future confidential solutions are in the pipeline. So what are the benefits of confidential computing? Obviously, confidential computing is not a silver bullet. However, it provides you with another security lever for your cloud deployments, especially for organizations with highly sensitive data. It completes the end-to-end -end data encryption story. It helps demonstrate due diligence for compliance purposes. And finally, it enables very interesting integration, data sharing, and collaboration use cases. And this last point is exactly what I want to focus on next. Unfortunately, today, many organizations are having to pick between innovation and maintaining user privacy, or between improving disease detection 
and protecting their patients' healthcare records, or between improving customer service experience in retail and protecting financial and personally identifiable information of their clients. Obviously, organizations want and need both. And that's why we're introducing Confidential Space, a powerful way to enable secure multi-party collaboration with trust guarantees, all built on top of confidential computing. As public preview for Confidential Space will be available soon, I would love to tell you more about it. As I mentioned, confidential space allows multiple parties to collaborate without having to trust each other blindly. It enables scenarios where you can gain mutual value from aggregating confidential data together while retaining full control over it. This type of privacy-preserving analytics is exactly what confidential space can facilitate. Let's take a look at a few examples. Here we have a healthcare organization on the left that wants to improve their disease diagnostics model. And we have an AI company on the right side that focuses on developing such models. However, they don't have enough PHI data to train their model, while the healthcare organization may not have all the resources to develop such model. When both of these parties collaborate, they both win. With confidential space, the data owner, healthcare organization, can share their sensitive data with this trusted execution environment in the middle, or TE. But if and only if it's running on top of confidential computing, keeping memory encrypted, and if and only if it's running the right, previously agreed upon workload. In the end, patients win, disease diagnosis and detection improves, and no PHI data is put at risk. In another example, we could have multiple banks focused on fraud detection or money laundering activity detection. In this case, workload author may be one of the collaborating banks or an independent third party. Again, all collaborating banks benefit because often this type of complex fraudulent activity is only visible when multiple financial institutions pool their data together. These were just a couple of examples, but we see confidential space use cases in insurance and fintech, for fraud detection in healthcare, for joint machine learning training, in retail and other verticals to build and enable data clean rooms. Now let's switch to a quick demo. Coming back to my question about sharing your salary with your colleagues or classmates. In this demo, we are going to show you how to do that securely using confidential space. Imagine two colleagues. On the left, we have Alice, and on the right is her colleague, Bob. They agreed on a code that would rank their salaries without revealing the actual numbers. Alice would generate an input file with her salary, just over 100000 and Bob will do the same on his side, on the right, with a salary of exactly 100000 Next, they will encrypt those files. Alice will do it first on the left. Here we'll also run a hex dump to show that the file is indeed encrypted. Bob encrypts his salary data as well. Then the encrypted files get uploaded to their corresponding storage buckets of our collaborators. In this example, Alice is the workload author. This could have been an independent party as well. Bob audits the workload prior to collaborating and is able to reproduce it on his side to ensure its legitimacy. Alice already built and uploaded the Docker container with the workload that will rank their salaries, but note show the actual numbers. You can see it's SHA-256 hash here. This is the same hash that Bob adds to the attribute conditions within his workload identity pool, which is the definition of his policy. It defines under which conditions Bob is okay releasing a key to his encrypted salary data. In this example, his policy checks for a number of things, including the type of the confidential computing technology required, like AMD SEV, version of the hardened OS where the workload container will be running, the authorized user, and the image, digest, or hash of the workload itself. 
Alice also has a similar policy, but as the workload author, she doesn't need to include the image digest. Instead, she includes the workload location in the artifact repository. In our demo, Bob also plays the operator or admin role and runs the workload that Alice built. However, that could have been an independent third party. Admins can only start, stop workloads, but they are unable to access data in clear text or influence the workload in any way. Well, the workload is now done and Bob will read the output. This output is of course accessible to all collaborators. Let's see what it says. Oh, snap. It looks like Alice is making more money. It's time for Bob to ask for a raise. Now let's imagine that Alice goes rogue and instead of just learning where she ranks among her colleagues, she wants to get their actual salaries. So she, as the creator of the workload, modifies the source code to include salaries in the output file. She then rebuilds the Docker container and pushes it to the repository. As a reminder, Bob's policy includes the hash of the workload under the attribute conditions right here. Now we'll get Bob to rerun the now modified workload and let's see what happens. Okay, the workload completed and Bob will read the output. Obviously, Alice could do the same as the output is in plain text and meant to be shared among all collaborators. As we can see from the new output file, we received an error stating the given credential is rejected by the attribute condition. It means that Alice wasn't able to take advantage of her colleague Bob because his policy included, among other things, the hash of the previously agreed workload. When Alice modified it, the hash obviously changed. That's why the workload didn't leak any sensitive data, such as the actual salary of our collaborators. This is how multiple parties can share sensitive data and collaborate in a secure manner. So I hope you enjoyed the demo. In summary, confidential space provides an ability to collaborate without blind trust. Everything is measured and verified before you give access to your data providing you with data confidentiality, data integrity, as well as code integrity guarantees. You retain complete data ownership. You control how your data is used and which workloads are authorized to access it. And again, you don't even need to trust the operator or the admin. Now I would like to pass it on to one of our great customers, Monetago, so they could share their confidential computing and confidential space use cases. Brendan, over to you. Thanks, Renee. Hey, everyone. Brendan Taylor here, CTO at Monetigo. Monetigo is a leader in financial services technology, providing the only global fraud prevention solution against duplicate financing. Our mission is to make working capital more accessible to the millions of underserved businesses by reducing risk in trade finance. Monetigo's secure financing product has been in production since 2018 and has recently been launched globally in partnership with the SWIFT network to make it available to all major banks around the world. Our problem is simple in nature, but complex to solve. Businesses get various forms of loans secured against receivables or inventory they own. The problem is that it's very easy for these businesses to go to more than one bank and get more than one loan against the same set of documents. This would be like you taking out multiple mortgages from different banks against your home. What this boils down to is that because banks have no effective way of sharing sensitive information between themselves, billions of dollars are lost each year to fraud. This is where we come into play. Our secure financing platform provides a way for banks to share this sensitive information without breaching their customers' privacy. Our product has two core pillars to it. Firstly, deduplication where we compare every document submitted to identify if it is suspiciously similar to another document already submitted. And second, authentication, which aims to identify whether the documents provided are actually genuine or not. So what makes this a difficult problem to solve? 
Well, it comes down to trust and privacy. Firstly, banks have to give us their customers' commercially sensitive data, but also they have to trust that other banks will not be able to gain any insight into their business. So how do we provide guarantees as to the protection of this data and their privacy? Like all businesses that deal with regulated and sensitive data, we implement ISMS policies to address identified risks. But the root of trust for these operational policies ultimately relies on good behavior of employees. The truth is, insider threats through either negligent or malicious behavior represent the most significant source of security breaches at tech companies. What we need is a technological solution to minimize this risk. With Google's confidential computing offering, we took one step closer to our goal. Initially, Monetigo is leveraging confidential GKE to ensure protection of data whilst in process. However, since the data is stored with Monetigo, it must be equally protected at rest. While there is no easy way of implementing trustless data storage, we implement a multi-key encryption process to ensure no single individual can breach security. For phase two, the introduction of confidential spaces will enable us to take the next step by giving the option to our customers of storing their own sensitive data within their own secure accounts. The data kept client side can be pulled on demand into a permissioned confidential workload on Monetigo's accounts for advanced analysis, the results of which contain no sensitive data and can be shared back to the relevant parties. This creates a similar paradigm to client-side encryption for secure enclaves with verifiable privacy guarantees through attestation, meaning our customers can rest assured that their data can be safely processed by Monetigo with a greatly minimized risk of data breach, even from internal threats. The value that can be unlocked through the adoption of multi-party computation globally is profound, whether it's saving countless lives by being able to learn from pooled medical data or helping an entire industry eliminate systemic problems, such as fraud through collaborative learning in a competitive environment, we are excited to be a part of the evolution in this space and look forward to continuing with Google on this journey. Now, back to you, Renee. In closing, I would like to thank you for attending and leave you with a few key points. Confidential computing is an industry-wide effort in secure computing. And we at Google, together with OEMs, are working and innovating to further our privacy and security guarantees. Confidential computing provides hardware-based data encryption and remote attestation. It's easy to use, performant, and scalable. Finally, confidential space builds on top of confidential computing and enables new use cases like secure data sharing, privacy-preserving analytics, join ML training, and much, much more. I hope you try out our preview, and thank you very much for attending.